Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners, Step-by-Step -step Guide to Process Simulation. In this tutorial, uh, let us understand what are the various transfer options available in Super Pro Designer. To understand better, I have taken an example problem which is available in Super Pro Designer that is streptomycin production process. And whenever we develop some process flow sheet, we have come across that uh, the material has to enter the particular unit procedure and it has to come out or it has to go to the another procedure. So here we need to charge uh, some contents to the procedure. We need to take out the contents from uh, the procedure. So this is what you call it as the flow of material in and out is basically a transfer operation. And we notice uh, whenever we come across any of this particular uh, equipment and we have, uh, for example, in this case, fermenter, when you go to fermenter, add or remove operations and you can notice there are some transfer options available. Uh, one is called charge, okay, the charge operation is available. In some of our tutorial uh, videos, we use them very frequently, charge operation. And you can notice here there is something called as transfer in and transfer out operation. And there is one more transfer option called as pull in and pull out. So let us understand in this video, what are these transfer operations and when are we going to use these particular transfer operations in the process simulation. To know them better, to, to the definition of each transfer option, you can go to help and table of contents if you click on this. So it will take you to this particular readme file. In this, if you could notice, there is something called unit operations, unit operation because the overall equipment is a unit procedure. Inside the unit procedure, series of operation happens. When you click on these operations, you can notice there is something called as transfer operations. So in this transfer op operations, you can notice the common purpose of all the operations in this group is to carry out material in and out of the equipment contents of hosting equipment. Let it be any equipment, for example, it may be reactor, it may be filter, it may be centrifugation system. So the material has to enter and it has to come out. And you can come across the depending upon what are the different uh, uh, options are like operations available that is nothing but material is carried out in and out of the vessel, material is bulk or discrete material amount is specified by the user. So means uh, the basically the material is coming in and going out and it may be bulk or discrete in the upcoming videos. Let us see what is the difference between bulk or discrete uh, uh, streams and we need if you do not know how much material it need to be transferred. So then we expect software to calculate that one. Okay. So then what are the transfer operations are available? For example, if it is a liquid, you can see charge is available, pull in is available, pull out is available, transfer in is available and transfer out is available. The same also available for solid stream. You are transferring solid streams, then definitely the options are also available for solid stream. So let us understand what is this charge operation. So this basically charge operation is like a first stop in the sense a direct input. So you use this operation to bring a known amount of material. For example, I want to charge some 1000 kg of molasses into the reactor. It is the first input, so direct input and I know the concentration of the stream also and I know the stream flow rate also. That is what here it says, use this operation to bring a known amount of material of known composition into a vessel via a process input. So if you go back to the streptomycin uh, production process here, for example, basically the shake flask when you see, you can notice here the charge media. So when I click on this particular charge media, I know what is this composition of charge media. If you click here, you can notice what is this media composition means I know the flow rate, right? Flow rate of this particular stream. So how much each, compo each compound is flowing, I know the flow rate and I can set it. Means it is a direct input to the procedure charge operation. Okay. Next, let us see what is the next, uh, next one. Note that the material is not modeled to be transferred from another vessel, but instead it is a direct process input. Means you cannot use charge when you transfer contents from one procedure to another procedure. Okay. So if you need to move a material from one vessel to another vessel, then we need to use the transfer in option. So let us see what is this transfer in option. So the basically this transfer operation that is transfer in and out basically comes in the intermediate streams, okay, intermediate streams and output streams. Basically, we do not generally use when you charge something, when you this is a first direct input, we generally do not use transfer in operation, we go with charge operation. Transfer in generally what happens, it comes kind of an intermediate stream, that is what it says, 
use this operation to bring a known amount of material of known composition from one vessel into another vessel via process intermediate stream okay note that the material is not modeled to be a direct process input so if it is a direct process input then definitely we need to use the charge operation and if you don't know the uh, if you don't know the amount of material need to be transferred i don't know how much material need to be transferred and i don't know the and it is basically depend upon some uh, like uh, uh, process uh, requirements then we, there is an another operation called as pulling so for example if i go to this uh, citric acid production example if you could open this citric acid production example you can notice here there is something called as pull in operation is used means initially in this example like 50% molasses is used as a, a substrate for fermentation now if you carry out fermentation at 50% uh, sugars definitely there might be an inhibition uh, over concentration of uh, substrate may lead to kind of uh, cell death so we need to dilute it okay here in this case they have diluted means once they charge the water once they charge the molasses then they don't know how much water need to be added to dilute 50 percent glucose to 20 percent glucose so in that case what they have used there is something called as pull-in operation when you click on this pull-in operation you can notice here available on pull-in stream because you are pulling in from some other media for example you have some storage tank is available the media is prepared from the storage tank you need to pull so if you know how much need to be pulled so you can definitely uh, select here for example mass for example i want 1000 kg of media need to be pulled or 1000 liter of media need to be pulled or in the downstream of that another equipment if already the uh, material flow rate is fixed uh, then you just click on available in pull in stream but in this case i don't want these three options what i what we required here 50 percent of glucose need to be kind of uh, reduced its concentration to be reduced to 20 percent then in that case we go to there is something called advanced option you can go to setup advanced option there are lot of options are available to set the flow rate of the system you can notice here there is set final composition in this case glucose is the final compound and we need its concentration to be 20 percent so now what software does this based upon this this is the water stream which is uh, used you can notice here the pull-in stream the water need to be pulled from the water 1b so that the glucose concentration inside the vessel reached the 20 percent so i hope you understood so when do we use the pull-in operation when you don't know what is the quantity of that particular uh, material need to be uh, transferred into the system and it is depending upon some criteria so this criteria is not available with this your charge operation or transfer in or transfer out operations basically transfer in and transfer out you don't have much to kind of set it for example i'll show in this particular vessel there is in this example you can notice there is something called as transfer out in this transfer out you can notice the option is set 100 percent we need to transfer out 100 percent or set mass like we need to this many kg need to be transferred or this many liters need to be transferred that is the option available and when you go to this charge operation also charge operation also you can notice here yes what need to be charged available on the stream or like do you you can see here you don't have an option for example if i charge water directly to the reactor to dilute it i don't know how much water is required or basically what you're supposed to do you need to do manual calculation and calculate what is the quantity required to dilute 50 percent to 20 percent and we have to send the mass but we no need to do that particular job because already super pro has inbuilt capacities you can easily use them and let us see what is this transfer in operation so transfer in operation here if i go here and you can see there is something called transfer in operation you can notice there is a slight difference between uh, pull in operation and transfer in operation here also you can notice there are not much uh, uh, things are available for us to set it it is just a uh, transferring material basically it works with intermediate stream so transfer in does not have much uh, kind of uh, uh, advanced options to set so these are the three important uh, unit like unit operations basically the transfer operations are available just for better understanding i'll just explain again so transfer operations what are transfer operation what is charge operation when do we use charge operation if it is a direct input and we know the uh, composition of the flow and also we know the flow rate of the system and we can use the charge operation uh, that is charge is direct input so transfer in and transfer out basically we come across in the intermediate stream and pull in and pull out uh, basically we come across uh, kind of when you don't know the material how much the material need to be transferred or 
basically depend upon some criteria that's what is given to achieve some certain volume or level of concentration and these are the kind of transfer operation when we solve advanced problems maybe we use such operations and we try to explore the advanced feature of this transfer operations i hope uh, you like this video you understood about the transfer operation so thank you please do not forget to subscribe to the channel